guys, welcome to another process video for Craft Roulette. This is for Craft Roulette uh, 168, which aired on Friday. I guess they all air on Friday, except for the Gina K show. Anyway, the parameters this time around are a kid's card, Citrus Orchard as the color theme, Springtime, which works well with Citrus Orchard, as Spring Scene as the element, and Metallic or Foil. So, I sort of pulled a lot of yellows and oranges, and I thought I that this daisy pattern is both citrusy and sort of springy. I guess it depends on your definitions of a spring scene. Then I pulled in this polka dot. These are both from Hop into Easter from Cat Scrappiness, which is a couple years old, and I don't. I think it may still be available. Um, if it is, I'll throw a link in the description box below. Uh, this is also a riff on one of the Kendra's Card Challenge sketches, although not an exact one. This is um, sketch number six from KCC10, which at the time of recording is currently available, but we'll go back into the Patreon-only vault in a couple days, well, a couple weeks when the month rolls over. Anyway, so I also pulled this sort of Less vibrant yellow, but, uh, sorry, less vibrant orange to use as a card base. So basically, uh, I think I, that's what I'm going to do. The These pink and main bugs seemed like a really child-friendly element, because I was really into bugs as a kid. So I figured that would work nicely here, and it basically fits with the color theme. And then I remembered that I had this bee pad from, well, Ephemera pack from one of the spellbinders this year and it says be beautiful and i think that's kind of a cute sentiment and then i can use one of the bees as sort of a additional focal point and you know we can have a spider who's happy about bees uh, i think that the pink on the spider and the navy here uh, for the purposes of our color theme are basically flowers that are somewhere in the citrus orchard that are blooming but uh, i don't know we I don't think that we usually firmly adhere to the color palette all the time, but, you know. Um, so this is going to be a pretty easy card to put together, because I did all the cutting initially and had this coloring done. Um, these was colored with the Spectrum Noir Tri-Blends. It's the pale pink on the bow and the uh, citrus on the rest of the spider, if you are curious. I'm just loading this guy up with my ATG gun. I don't actually think we're going to need to glue any elements today, which is unusual, but happens sometimes. Like getting our layers on straight, like that just worked, and that also sometimes happens, although not always. I did get a uh, new mat, because my other one I finally gave up after... Um, I couldn't really get gold pigment ink off of it, so if you have any good solutions for like cleaning these self-healing cutting mats, this one does sort of wiggle around a little bit more. I think the surface is smoother, so I may uh, just hit it with some double-sided tape on the back side, because I don't know if it's super annoying while watching, but I don't know. one almost went on really crooked the other thing I've done in the past that can sort of help with the not getting it on crooked issue is uh, if you basically line this up in a uh, like a score pal or something that can help you to get uh, a more even line and I'm just gonna trim off a little bit of this extra pattern paper and basically, this is going to go down the center of the card, and then these two then go on like this. Both of these are not the original dimensions of the sketch, but they were basically... Uh, I couldn't scan and cut the legs on this little spider, so I wound up um, just cutting it out and then rounding the corners. Um, so it sort of has a, it has a slightly more rectangular dimensions than the original sketch, but uh, 
that's kind of the nice thing about these sketches. They're very open to interpretation, especially if you have something already. My friend Meg over at the uh, Crafty Fun with LV Handcrafted Facebook group is doing a Jitterbug June bug challenge, so I will be submitting that this particular card to that as well. So it's always nice when cards can do double duty and like multiple hops or challenges. But on a certain level, like, I don't know, Craft Roulette is. I guess because you don't win anything, per se. Like, it's not a contest. I don't mind reusing stuff a little bit. There we go. And this spider is from a Pink and Main stamp set. It was a stamp of the month a little while ago. I want to say, not this month, because this month was Penguins, I think, but it was the month before that. So I want to say May. And here we go. And you can basically put these however you want. The original sketch has them sort of balanced, kind of like this. And then they overlap a little bit, which I like because it adds a lot more like visual movement than if you didn't. I'm always surprised how long these tape rolls last on the ATG gun compared to like, I don't know, like, like the EdTech ones, it's sort of like, when I tried to use it, when I was using it to do a whole Kendra's Cards Challenge series, it was sort of like, oh, look, every, it was sort of like every three videos, I was like, oh, no, I'm out of tape. Um, so that's, this is sort of the base card design. And normally here is where the focal point will go. So I think I will put a B there, because why not? If one bug is good, two bugs are better. And I think that's kind of neat. It sort of balances the spider. I have to... Oh, and the other element I didn't talk about is metallic, and this is metallic. Uh, I kind of like beautiful down here. I like it off to the side. I feel like that sort of balances out the spider, where... Although the bee kind of does that, too. I don't know. This is kind of... It's kind of nice in the center, too, because I guess these elements... Seems like there's two elements here and one here. Well, oh, that works. So it seems like you would want the element to be more on the right. I like both. You could also do this, because then it's next to the bee. Having beautiful next to the spider doesn't quite make as much sense to me. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it in the center. I, th I think the center is where I most like it. The nice thing about these spellbenders things is the the sticky isn't that sticky, so it allows you to move them around a little bit. Um, I was thinking like some element, some emboss, some sort of bling there would be nice. Let's see what we have. Ooh, we have Santa Lane, but we have these cool dots. Which one of these? I guess orange would be. I think I'll just put an orange dot up here. I do kind of like that as an element, especially with the sparklies. Yeah, I like that. We could do a couple more. No, I think I'll leave that as it is. I, I kind of like that single dot. To me, it kind of uh, helps balance out the B, which is a pretty big embellishment. Anyway, um, oh, these are the cool treats ones from Not Too Shabby. If you've seen any videos lately, I've probably been using them, but... This is our Craft Roulette slash Jitterbug and June card, and I like how it came out. I think it's pretty neat, but thanks for checking it out. Uh, hopefully you're still liking this short video format, but if you have any thoughts or suggestions, just leave them down below, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great rest of your Sunday.